The goal of today's activity is to put into practice a lot of the color panels and tools we've been using in class so far this unit. We're going to start off with the color panel. Reminder that your panels are under window. And we are going to select our shape and just match the colors you see here in the screenshot so that this um, color, this logo looks this color. Right? We're going to repeat that for these two. Then we're going to go to the color picker. And it's been a minute since we used the color picker, but a reminder, in order to access the color picker, we want to click on the shape we want to color, and then simply double click on the little swatch on the bottom of the toolbar. And you can match these numbers for CMYK here. When you're done with that, we're going to use our handy dandy eyedropper. You know, we select our shape, we access our eyedropper, and we steal some color. For this section, we're going to work with creating swatches. And this is our sample image we're going to steal swatches from. So a reminder for this, we need our swatches panel. So window swatches. We want to use our eyedropper tool to steal the color. This one has quite a few colors. And then to save a new swatch, we're going to hit this little plus sign. And we're going to hit OK. We're going to do that for the rest of the colors here. We can group them so we know which colors to use by simply clicking on the little folder and dragging all the colors we've saved. And lastly, we're only applying the colors that we've saved from this image to this little um, astronaut here. When you're done with that, we're going to work with our spot colors. So we're going to still need our swatches open. A reminder, your spot colors, we're going to use specifically Pantone colors again. Let's go to our little library, color books, find Pantone solid coded and then we can put in these numerical values. It really helps to have your settings here to have a large list view so you can see the numbers and then you can just type the numbers here. So for the logos, I've given you two numbers, you're allowed to put these specific values where you would like um, on each one of these logos here. Um, when you're done with that, we're gonna go back to our live paint bucket tool. So we're gonna select this entire shape, activate our live paint bucket tool with the letter K and start using our swatches panel to come up with a really beautiful color scheme for the stained glass window. Now, if you want to pull specific Pantone colors, you can also do that as well. And the last thing we're going to practice is our gradient tool, and you're going to add some natural looking gradients to this office scene below. Be creative, take your time, and be really particular about your color usage.